Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Rob Tarkoff, head of the advertising and CX business at Oracle. And I'd like to welcome Andy Nalapen, who's the CTO and head of software business operations at Broadcom. Welcome, Andy. Can you start by telling everyone what you do at Broadcom and maybe a little bit about Broadcom as a company and your journey up to today? Thank you, Rob. Broadcom is a global high-tech semiconductor and the infrastructure software company with a revenue of $25 billion. Our semiconductor components are part of our hardware customers' critical supply chain, enabling them to produce their flagship products, which connects the world. And our infrastructure software solutions enable our software customers to manage their our mission critical business operations, while our security solutions protect their operations, IP, and assets. About me, uh, I used to be the global CIO of Broadcom until less, late last year. Then I became the CTO of the newly formed infrastructure software business group. Um, in this role, um, I'm responsible for the SaaS platform engineering, SaaS uh, DevOps, and uh, SaaS operations and platform services, and also the business technical solutions for our business operations. Rob, as you know that Broadcom have been growing over the years through acquisitions. Part of this journey, we've been transforming into a hardware, software, and service-oriented company. That's great, Andy. I'm too very familiar with the value that acquisitions bring to companies, but there's a lot of people, process, and technology challenges every time you grow through acquisition and have to incorporate these new product lines. What has this acquisition process meant for the technology systems that support your business? What challenges have you faced? We have a clear vision and strategy. You know, part of that, that vision and strategy is to integrate all these companies into a common culture, process, and technology and platform. For that, you know, first we need the people, the strong stakeholders at the table to make the tough decisions during the initial phase of the um, integrations there. You know? And, and they, these decisions um, have to be driven by the stakeholders delivering um, the synergies between the processes and the systems and you know, accomplishing our integration goals. And comes to the next is the process. You know? Integration is a great opportunity to not only to simplify the business processes and also to eliminate all these inefficiencies accumulated over the decades in the quiet companies over there. And the last but not least is the technology platform. And we wanted a you know, platform. We look at the platform, which can not only accommodate our hardware and software business, but also it can connect and give you through end-to-end -end processes. And it also you know, enable us to master the data like our customers and, and pricing and products and cascade them down to the, our um, uh, downstream applications where it connects our functions through these processes and delivering efficiencies in those functions over there. And, and we both know, Andy, that that process is not easy. Mastering data, flowing it through to end products, making sure that you have the correct single source of truth identified to work end to end. So Andy, with our customers at Oracle, we see how many are benefiting from unifying their front and back office technology to deliver this improved customer experience that you've been talking about. What benefits have you seen now that you've implemented your front and back office systems all on one unified Oracle architecture? Rob, let me answer this from, from a three different perspective. Let's take the first the customer perspective there. And as we have grown over the years, you now we become a, you know, um, a large company with 23 divisions across the hardware and software and thousands of products over there. And there's a lot of customer synergies between the acquisitions over there. But we want to make sure that our, our, that our customers see us a one company with one system of process and a one team to engage. So it's very critical for us to make it easier for our customer to do business with. And also, you know, it enables our sales and support team, providing a 360-degree view of the customers and enabling them to have an, a much more effective and, and uh, effective way to engage with our customers and support them better. From a Broadcom perspective, you know, um, our culture is in a, in a data-driven decision-making culture. 
So it's important that we provide a single source of truth to our leaders, enabling that faster decision-making and better decision-making there. And also for our end users, we want to make sure that there is a you know, frictionless experience and with increased user adoptions you know, um, with end-to-end -end processes. And last but not least is the you know, yield that integration synergies over there, you know, reducing the total cost of ownership and improving the operating margin. That's great. So it sounds like one of your uh, uh, significant return on investments is this ability to continue to acquire and improve margin at the same time. When you looked at uh, partners that you could work with to help bring this front to back office story to life and enable you to achieve these margin targets and these other uh, ROIs that you were looking for, you evaluated a number of, of players. We feel very uh, fortunate that you chose Oracle, but maybe you could talk about a little bit about what, what led you to the decision to choose Oracle over some of our competitors in the space. Sure. Now, as you know, that the, the application and technology has evolved over the year to become a front office, middle office, and back office. But for me and for us, it's only one office. We wanted to have an, a one office. You know? So these applications and platforms, which can really connect all this front office and back office and providing you know, one end-to-end um, -end seamless experience to our customers and, and, and our users there. So it is more than CRM and CPQ. You know? It is a whole ecosystem. So it was it was a much easier decision for us to choose Oracle because that you know gave us this end-to-end uh, -end experience and also it aligned with our our culture, which is the basically faster, better, cheaper, you know, faster integrations, and better experience for our customers and better decision making for our uh, um, executives and lower total cost of ownerships, accommodating the growth with economy of scale, and you no know, our integrations are all time-driven integrations there. Now, it is a lot of challenges there. And Oracle and I, has come forward to, you know, to meet their challenges there, and they partnered with us there to make it successful and provide their cost savings through the li licenses and maintenance there. So it was basically you know, um, it's a, a culture alignment, our uh, vision alignment, our, our technology was end-to-end -end with the, you know, enabling our, our end-to-end -end process there. So that's why we chose Oracle, and we've been very happy Andy, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that you feel this way about your Oracle choice. I hope this continues to be true for years to come. I wanted to thank you uh, for joining me today and sharing your story with the rest of our customers. And I'm really glad that we had this chance to connect on all the success Broadcom is having in implementing a unified front to back office solution on the Oracle platform. Thanks very much.